Hello everyone, if you remember we are doing the checkpoint playlist in our YouTube channel and we already discussed how to install the checkpoint, how to download that one and we told we have the Gaia portal, you can access the Gaia portal if you want to do the system configuration and if you want to do the security configuration then you need to download from the smart console. So this is a smart console we have. So this is the system is ready. This firewall I power on and this is ready. I can log in here. If you see, I will put the password, whatever I search here and I will try to log in here. Okay, I am here inside. I can write show uh, management, show interface, it zero. Okay. So if you see when I write here show interface it zero this is a interf interface IP 192.168.45.50 so we can type here 192.168.45.50 this one when I try to log in here we will get the login prompt and we need to write here admin is a username and password whatever we give we need to give that password okay so let me put that password and this is a Gaia portal so here you can log in the firewall and here you can do the system setting so this one already in our previous class we log in this one okay now we need to try to log in with the smart console this is a smart console i will try to log in with the smart console now so here again i am getting the issue i am unable to log in so let me check here i can see here let me go here and check this is the interface what we have here this is the IP I have and also if I check here in the advanced routing let me check here what we have here in the advanced routing we have RIP we have so in this one just I need to make sure we have the correct routing configure here means gateway we should have the correct one so let me check here static and uh, here in this one this one IP static root so if you see this one is correct only this one I need to check this is the option available here so here also you have 192.168.45.2 so 192.168.45.2 this is also correct gateway and we have the interface IP let me check here what IP we have 192.168.45.50 so this one is correct let me see the IP what we assign 192.168.45.50 and let me try to put the password here whatever we give and let me try to log in again here ok so I am trying to log in here again let's see it will take some time it is connecting to the server after that when we log in here if you want to configure any policy we can configure see it is working now so before some time maybe you have this issue so try to log in again I just I cross check this one already you will have default when we do the setting is starting you will get this all configuration so no need to worry if you are getting the issue to log in here what you will do just you need to try again okay so this is a Gaia portal the backside what you have and this is our smart console so with Gaia portal what you can do see this is a smart console you can see checkpoint smart console so this one is a smart console this one backside what we have Gaia portal so with the Gaia portal what you will do here you will assign the IP to the interface you will configure the time you will configure SNMP you will configure the routing all that one here in this one in the smart console you can create the policy you, if you click here gateway and the server you have and if you click here you have the policies here all policy option is available here you can create the policy you, here if you see we have already one policy is created here so if you want to allow you can allow also you can keep accept and after that you can publish okay you will publish this and then you will install the policy so you can create here policy then I will install the policy so install click install so it is going to install the policy no need to worry 
if you are first time seeing maybe you will confuse what is this what is that no need to worry we will go through this slow by slowly one day by day so you will be familiar with this one just i am want to show you here if you want to create the policy if you want to create the nat this you can do with this smart console only you will create the policy then you will publish the policy then you will install the policy and here you have object if you want to create any new object you can do that one here you can see installation is successful here so like that we can do here so let me give you some overview about this one so when you log in you will have this types of interface when you log into the smart console and this one we can say this is a menu okay this is a menu we have here and if you see here this is a global toolbar we are calling this one as a global toolbar and here you can see here you have session and if you see like here you have the search option you can search also here if you want to search any thing and here you have the objects you have the different types of object category here you have and navigation you have here the navigation toolbar you have this one okay so later i will show you it is loading so navigation toolbar is also there here so what you will do with this one means you will push the policy you will configure the policy here so see here when i click here gateway and server you can see status is green and you can see the gateway and what is the ip of that one what is the version of that one and whatever the active blade you have here here the firewall network policy management and login state these are the three active blade we have and hardware we are using open server and cpu usage is 2% if you see here and uh, the other this one is not applicable and if you go down you can see here this is a detail available here license still we did not activated that's why it is giving here not activated so this is ip address of this uh, device the firewall and we deploy this one in the standard format access control policy is standard and this is a date and time and operating system of that one is gaia and version is r80.40 how many is how much cpu is using how much memory is using is here available and this one is a open server we are using access blade we have only one this is firewall and here if you see management blade you have network policy management and login state we have okay so these are the what we can say smart console so here later we will see how we can create the policy where we can go and how we can configure the policy we can check and we will see logs and monitoring how we can do we will see that also and if you go at last management and setting here we can see how we can manage this one and here you can see we have one user we can add more user also here so the here you have lot of thing and if you want to access the firewall with the cli you can click here the cli will open here let me see here why this option is not working so if we click this option the command line you will have the cli option also you can do the configuration from the cli and if you want to create any object you can click here and you can create the object here so later we will see how we can create all the thing we will do slowly and just you need to remember you you are accessing this firewall you are accessing this one with gaia portal and also with smart console so what is the difference between this means with the uh, gaia portal you can do the system configuration with the smart console you can do the security configuration like creating the policy and creating the nat rule allowing and inspecting and you are doing ids uh, and the vpn all this option you can do with the smart console so we will see no worries later we will do one more uh, video for how to deploy the palo alto firewall like we will do one lab how to deploy the checkpoint we can use the checkpoint here we can have the lan and wan like that we can create and we can do the lab later now just i want to just show you that we are accessing this firewall one is gaia portal and another is a smart console you need to remember this one so in our next class we will see some theory topic or maybe we can go for lab directly so you can easily understand that one okay so what we learn here here we learn just how to log in the smart console before we are unable to log in today also when i try to log in it is giving some error 
after some time again i try to log in and then it is working perfectly so just remember with the gaia portal you can do the system configuration with the smart console you can do the security con configuration okay so see you bye